Welcome to another Frontier Precision Tech Talk. My name is Tony Edelbrock, and today we will go through the process of doing our Windows updates, checking our Windows version, and our operating system version on our Windows 10 controllers. So what will our Windows updates do for us? Well, they often include feature enhancements and security updates to protect Windows from malware and malicious attacks. On our uh, Windows 10 controllers, as of uh, May 1st, 2020, uh, the latest version is version 1909. Uh, and to check that, uh, just hit your start menu at the bottom, uh, go to your settings, system, and then about. And in there, it will tell you uh, what version of Windows you are on currently. Uh, the latest operating system for the TSE 7 uh, is the B2070. Uh, the previous versions include uh, B19.3, B23T, and B25T. Uh, for the T7, uh, the latest operating system is GB12T, and there is one previous version, the GB10T. On the T10, it is just a Windows 10 Enterprise operating system. And by default on these controllers, uh, the Windows updates are set to run from 8 to 5. So uh, there's nothing like uh, being stuck on a stockpile and your uh, Windows updates going through and being stuck up there for 10 to 15 minutes waiting for the Windows updates to complete. Uh, another thing we do like to show is if you have a SIM card, uh, say for using a VRS network, um, these Windows downloads obviously are set to 8 to 5, so if you're out in the field uh, running your you know, VRS survey uh, the in the background, uh, the Windows updates uh, are potentially going through, so uh, not only are you using data uh, for uh, your survey, but you're also using data uh, to download these Windows updates, so uh, if you don't have an unlimited data plan, uh, you might see a, a jump uh, in, in data usage. So if you're seeing a, a jump like that, uh, this is most likely the reason why. And what we'll do here is we'll go through the process of, of changing these times. So uh, when you're out in the field, you're just using your data uh, for your survey. So on my TSC7 screen here, I just notice that I'm connected to a Wi-Fi source, a little bit more reliable than the cellular uh, data. Uh, so on the bottom left, hit my Windows menu button, and uh, then hit the gear for the settings icon. Uh, click on system at the top left and then if I scroll down I will find an about uh, so click on about and this lists my uh, Windows operating system uh, you can see I'm at uh, B25T currently uh, so I do have the option to go up to B27 if I need to uh, then my Windows version uh, is at uh, the latest, which is the the 1909. So uh, I know that I'm at the the latest uh, as of as of right now, anyway. So I hit back, then I can scroll down to my update and security. I'll click on that, and here you can see my updates are up to date. Uh, but I do have some optional updates I could do as well, which I'll probably do a little bit later. And then if I scroll down, you can see my active hours are set to default uh, eight to five. So I can click on that box, and then uh, you can see the change is blue, so I can, I can edit that if I click on the change. So I'll click that, and I will change my start time by just clicking on the box. And I can just change it to, I'll uh, say maybe 11, and just put it at PM, and hit the check mark. And then the same thing with the end time. I click on the box, and I'll just change that to 5 AM, and then hit the check. And I can hit save. And then I can hit back on my settings the top arrow on the top left corner here and you can see my change active hours have changed then from 11 to 5. So you guys did see also that uh, my operating system is at the B25 so I just want to show you uh, where we can find that if you want to update your operating system. So here is the the Trimble web page I just go to Trimble.com and then on the right side is the the menu uh, icon so just hit menu and go down to support and training and then on support A to Z and then I just like to highlight the T uh, just to get me down to the, the Trimble section, I guess. And just scroll down and find the Trimble TSC7. There it is. So I can just click on that. And then under support, I want to click there. You can see there is uh, some support notes, uh, one for you know managing Windows 10 updates on your TSC7, uh, but just down a little bit is the B27T operating system update and reload instructions. So if I click on that link, it brings up a, a PDF, and this gives me the directions to uh, update the operating systems um, on my TSC7. So one thing I do want to 
point out is that uh, when you do the operating system upgrade, uh, it does wipe everything. So all your survey data will need to be saved to a, a safe location before you do this. This concludes our Frontier Precision Tech Talk for today. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you next time.